Hello everyone and welcome to this my latest Thomas and Friends Adventures toy collection update and as you can see I have two brand new Thomas and Friends Adventures toys taken from the upcoming movie Journey Beyond Sodor. So if I just reach in at the back there, um, let me just go over this again. This is Still Works Frankie. Now I've been corrected on this on my comments section of this video that I did that I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I do apologise. Frankie is apparently a female character and not a male character, of course. I, I just assumed in my infinite wisdom that a name like Frankie would be uh, the masculine rather than the feminine, but obviously uh, that was that was a, a, a coarse judgment on my part. So this is, of course, Frankie, and she is not one of the experimental engines either. She is uh, one of the Steelworks engines. Uh, clue is in the title. Really should have known that anyway, but there we go. I do apologise to those of you who, um, who pointed that out to me, but there we go. I've rectified it now. I thank you very much for your comments. And that's what's great about this YouTube community. You can uh, leave comments and uh, correct people on the mistakes they may have made. And, and we can all get along much better for it once we are happily enlightened, as I am today. <clears throat> so, there we go. So, we've seen this one in my previous video. But now, what I have that is new to this collection are these two engines. And first of all, we'll start off with the big one, which is, of course, Merlin the In... No, it says Merlin. Now, again, I might need to be corrected on this, but it says um, Merlin the Invisible. Now, I would have thought it would be Invincible because he is quite a gargantuan-sized engine. But it says on there, Merlin the Invisible. Now, again, you might have to, you might have to inform me on this. Um, is he one of the Steelworks engines or is he one of the engines that actually uh, is experimental? I mean, he looks like an experimental engine to me with the fact that he has uh, three funnels which are actually detailed in the toy here which I think is a very nice touch. Really nice paintwork that goes on here. And actually, it's very detailed. If you look along here, it has got the gold uh, pipes running along there, the black strip along there with Merlin written on the side, and there's his cab with his number on, and on the, uh, on the tender. Black holes there. You know, uh, with a lot of the Thomas and Friends adventures, they would have just kept that the same colour as, uh, as his bunker. Uh, or bunker or tender rather but uh, no and they've detailed with red wheels they haven't just gone for a normal black um, yeah and there's this very happy looking face happy old Merlin hello Merlin <laughs> oh hello twin hat <laughs> <clears throat> anyway so there we go so there's the top of it along there and at the bottom as you can see, sorry about the light there, and it says Merlin on there, and let's see what date it has written on here. Can we can we focus in on that at all? Yes, it looks like it says 2016. Uh, I haven't got the best focus in the world, but I think that's what it says there. Yeah, it could be here for a while. Hmm. Yeah, it just that's not focusing. Never mind. And of course, like I've said before, I do like that they put the the characters' profiles on the on on the back on the card. Um, the, I have uh, I have uh, unboxed uh, one of these toys, and I'll do another video showing um, uh, a collection of them that I've bought recently. The only thing is, is that the back cardboard here sticks very snugly to this plastic, so that even if you try and tear it off nicely you end up uh, having bits of this ripping off so it's a shame really because if you do want to have it unboxed and then close it back up again into the plastic but you know just open it and close it like you want um the face is sort of detached it's a shame because it, in terms of just tidiness really and convenience but there we go there we are so there is Merlin. He does look absolutely magnificent, doesn't he? So let's put him aside and let's get one that I got most recently, which is Steelworks Hurricane. Now, of course, this is much more obvious, um, which I should have picked up on with Frankie, is that Steelworks Hurricane, of course, works at the Steelworks. 
and yeah he's small but he's not very small I mean if we look at uh, if we look at Frankie and then we look at um, uh, Hurricane there he's quite big isn't he he is indeed so there is his uh, profile picture there he's looking quite quite menacing actually quite devious hmm we'll have to see what happens in the in the movie with him so there we go there's his face let me just get it into focus so very much like how he looks in the CGI animation very nicely done and again it's good amount of detail with the gold strip the lighter red stripes there the uh, the domes and the funnel and everything it it's nicely detailed you can see everything you should be able to see um and all this little extra bit of design here uh does it have a number on there yes i think it says number 20 on there let's see if i can focus that in a bit more let's get my thumb out of the way because i think it's focusing on that yeah number 20 and of course it has their hurricane written on the sp on the side there we go and again red wheels and underneath we have hurricane and there we go we can see the date there it says 2016 even though we are into 2017 here um yeah so really nice paintwork i think he's a really nice style of model and uh yeah there's not again not much to say really it's a nice new toy i quite like it the back is the same as always um when it has the uh, multi-language sections here it seems to have just this standard background um, and it's the same with there we go with Merlin there and of course it's the same as well we saw in the last video with Frankie so um, yeah I really I really like this one I really like Hurricane I do like his design quite quite a long boiler but uh, yeah he has a cab rather than uh, a tender that's quite interesting but he looks great let's have a look at his face again let's have a look at the face yeah yeah very good detail really like him and uh, it's nice that they're quite substantially sized they could have uh, tried to make him a little bit smaller than he actually is but um, yeah I'm, I'm quite impressed with the Thomas Adventures range so far like I said they need to sort out this packaging because I really don't like this coloring effect and these stupid patterns all around it but I really like that they've got the picture there the packaging itself is nice and big and substantial and everything again I, I would like it if they had maybe a character description in here or at least a little card there's room for a card in here to to explain some of the attributes of each character that would be really nice to have but you know they want to save on money they want to they want to take our money but they want to uh, they want to make it convenient for themselves where they don't feel the uh, need to actually uh, invest too much in making these toys because they're made in bulk so there we go the Thomas and Friends Adventures update. These are the latest two toys, as far as I am aware, in the UK to be released. Um, of course, I will be collecting more as they as they are released. I do have a collection of them still that I do want to show you, but um, through just busyness and all the rest of it, I haven't had the chance to do those videos. But I will get round to it, and so I hope this will uh, uh, this will satisfy your appetite for Thomas and Friends Adventures and I also recently purchased the new DVD Team Up with Thomas so uh, give that video a watch and that's it so don't forget like subscribe share and comment and I will see you folks on the next video thanks for watching uh, bye bye choo choo keep on peep peep